2 to the negative x. And this can be rewritten as 1 over 2 to the x. Or if you see a to the negative 3, this can be rewritten as 1 over a cubed. If you have a negative exponent that is in the numerator of an expression, and both of these are implicitly in the numerator, because anytime you see something by itself, that's the same as if you wrote it with a denominator of 1. But anytime you see a negative exponent that can be rewritten with that expression only that is enclosed in the exponent in the denominator. So here are two examples of what you could do if you saw these expressions. These are equivalent ways of rewriting the same expressions. Now you have to be careful because if you're multiplying by something here, only the thing that has the negative exponent is affected. So the 3 doesn't have a neg negative exponent. It doesn't care about 2's problems. So this would just become 3 times 1 over 2 to the x, which would be equivalent to 3 over 2 to the x. All of these three are different ways of writing the same thing. You might want to rewrite this with a negative exponent so that you could use product rule. I'm sorry, not product rule, power rule. But only the x to the fourth is being raised, only the x is being raised to the fourth. So the 1 over pi doesn't care about this x. So the 1 over pi remains where it is. And I can rewrite this like this with properties of fractional multiplication. And then I would have 1 over pi times x to the negative 4. None of this is really about calculus. None of this is about taking derivative. This is about using algebra to rewrite things in a way where taking the derivative might be easier or simpler.